All right, got some very indulging news today. <clears throat> and I'll do, of course, uh, reading an article. Very, very interesting. As you can see here, we got a, a rabbit. Main key of this article. But not only that, the history behind this is intense. And I guess as you read these words, this was the, one of the first Bibles, mind you. Now, if anybody don't know the history of the Indians and how the English pretty much made them come to their religion. And this is probably, I guess, you know, one of the, uh, like I said, first Bibles written in the Indian language. Indian words, mind you. So without anybody not knowing Indian words, and I'm sure that anybody going to try and read some of this <laughs> would be lost in a land of, uh, duh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But the main thing of this, though, is lies due to the fact of the rabbit. Now, mind you, this book being written, you know, during the 1600s. Excuse me. <coughs> Damn it. <coughs> Woohoo! No blessing here. Uh, 1600 things in Massachusetts now. The first whole Bible translated into a Native American language. And the only one in, up until maybe the 1700s, the snail, Pazam. Pazam. This book is extremely weird, of course, because almost no one has studied it so far yet. It's very important to worlds. <clears throat> prehistory and history because of the early whatever. What has caught in my eye though on this is this. That's right. Whoops. The rabbit. Now whether or not he's riding on the snail of the man. This and uh, I think he shows the book and this picture is in the book. Now why do I bring this? Because I did a video not too long ago. A week ago. About the uh, Bridgewater Triangle. And two men entering it. Two men. They did claim that they did smoke. You know marijuana. But they had not. Did any token. When this occurred. And for this being said and shown right now that this Bible and the rabbit and the main word Indians, that's right, Indians and rabbit, uh, leads me to believe that the rabbit that the men saw that day, of course, Indian dwellers, Indian black magic, or whatever you want to call it. The shaman put his spirits into this, and I believe this is what it came out of it. Now, why a rabbit's riding a man looking like a snail? The only one reason could be for that is that the form that the, what I call, in putting them all two to two together, skinwalkers. I mean, they don't even have to be called skinwalkers. I mean, to get that name. Actually, I think it is good to use skinwalkers because all skins of animals and all skins of what they do, of transforming, that would make it right, the perfect name for skinwalkers. So it doesn't even prevail or even to make it, you know, one 
just or one animal or one creature or the dog man. It could be any animal. A bird, a rabbit right there, a snail. So, I mean, this only extends my journey to be closer than what I could imagine it ever would be in. And putting this pieces of the puzzle together. It's all coming together. <laughs> I think the only thing now is is to go where skinwalkers have been sighted near me and see what I can do to get them up. Because this right here, this coming up, uh, also over here, it's got a most of the languages, the Bible, but it also contains sizable Billingen encyclopedia on these Indians, and which really amazed the interest in from 1643. The rest of the corpus, corpus is lands and deeds, modern or Ojibwe, whatever that is, is very large language, which is very similar, really, so is Cree. Example, right here, frog. Ma mos co tis. Animal, animal, croak, croak. 1620 pilgrims found this troubling, yet it's maybe not much different from Finnish. The Finns, the Finnish people, with which they may not have been much... Familiar despite leave, living a few decades in the Netherlands. So right here. All black and white. I mean the pilgrims, right? And the English. The pilgrims, the English did not like either. I can tell you that right now. So I don't know if this was uh, made by the pilgrims. But if... Whoever did take Indian words and put them into the Bible, whether it be the pilgrims or the English, because the English didn't even like the pilgrims. They would attack them too. My father knows of a story in Harvard, Mass, as an Englishman took a pilgrim and I literally tied him up to a tree. And I've longed to find that tree. I forget. I don't. I think it might have been cut down, but he told me where it was, and I can't quite picture it because the details of that road has been changed so much over the years. Of course, so he knows exactly where it is, but I can't get him out. He's not a traveler no more like he used to. I mean, my father has walked the woods. Of Harvard, Shirley, Air, literally when he was a kid. And in late teens, early 20s, and he literally bought books and read and educated himself. But uh, to find, just to see this story come up now and seeing this rabbit. And then you got this What's Up Doc mimicking two men in the woods of. Bridgewater and Bridgewater was a heavily part of the King Philip's War, the first one and the first place of where the Indians disappeared into them swamps. And the English, of course, were like, holy crap, you know, just the thought of it, the mere thought of it. And that's where they got there thinking they were the devil's chapels, disciples, blah, 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 but. No, they just had more knowledge than what the damn English knew of. Pretty much, if you think about it, English had books, went to schooling, educated in themselves, and Indians, they had pretty much wilderness, as we call it today, street smarts. They had wilderness smarts. And when they would eat salmon... All the time. And fish. Everybody knows fish is brain food. Very smart. Intelligent. That's why you don't mess with the Indians. But other than that, I just had to share this story and that rabbit. Goddamn rabbit. <laughs> Coming out. What's up, Doc?
But to have this come up after all my findings, once again, and now it's in the Indian Bible, mind you. So I can just imagine what the Indian tribes of Massachusetts and in the Bridgewater Triangle. There's a lot got to do with these damn animals. Like they say out in the West, skinwalkers were dogmen, but I say they got dogmen here too. And uh, it's insane, man. <laughs> I just got to start getting out there and looking until the meantime, right? Stuff keeps pulling me towards this. Stuff keeps dragging in front of me. Stuff just keeps uh, randomly popping up. And for this to come up, that's insane. It's crazy. I just, I'm just baffled and mesmerized about what I've been finding and what's been coming up. And yeah, oh man. Now the next step, find the skinwalkers. But until then, I'm still trying to get some time, like I said, due to the fact that I did not break my threshold this month. Once again, thank you, YouTube, for cutting all monetization. I would have had that extra money to travel to where I need to go and take my time. and But nope, all taken away. So if anybody has the heart, please subscribe. I'm definitely, I'm at. I'm actually at 235, which is a big increase to me, but it ain't enough to break the threshold. And oh man, <laughs> I want to just bang my head off the goddamn wall. I mean, I think I'm still got a chance, but until then, I'm stuck here just hanging in limbo until something breaks. Hopefully, these stories, though, of the skinwalkers. And what I've been revealing will be that part. And I have not heard back from the uh, Ben guy yet. Ben Eno. Oh, it stinks. I left him a message, I think, yesterday. So I did send him a bunch of pictures. I did send him a lot of st a couple videos. So hopefully he studies them and lets me know what he thinks. <clears throat> And I have had uh, my photo put up of the uh, orb or figure in the yard. And I have been told that that could be the deceased that has been deceased in this house. So <laughs> I did have a thought on that, but I wasn't sure due to the fact that spirits do follow you. And I just wanted to make sure. But I come to find out, I think that's what it is. And I'm satisfied with that answer. Other than that, do that next video. Stay safe, be take care, be safe, take care, take care, be safe. <laughs> I can't even talk right. Always 